Good morning. Welcome to our collective worship from Walton Parish Church, Liverpool. Today we gather together for the 3rd UK National Day of Reflection. The 23rd of March 2023 marks the third anniversary for the first UK lockdown due to COVID-19. Over the last three years, we as individuals, families and schools and communities have journeyed together during difficult times. After the isolation, we continue to rebuild our lives together. Many have lost their connections with friends, more distant relatives and community life. We are learning how to live together again, learning to be friends and learning how to trust each other again. The 23rd of March is a day to remember our loved ones who've died. It is a time to support family, friends, colleagues and neighbours who continue to grieve. It is also a time to remember all we have achieved during the last three years. Above all, it is a time to connect with each other and think about ways we can work together and rebuild our communities. We all feel grief at some stage during our lives. Millions of us across the UK, adults as well as children, are feeling it right now. Marie Curie research shows that the pain of grief can be worse when you grieve alone, something many were forced to do during the pandemic. This is why we gather together once again to offer emotional support during a minute silence at noon. It is a time to connect, support and be there for each other. Let's all share our compassion, love and active support so that no one has to grieve alone. During times of darkness and anxiety, People light candles. This morning at the start of our collective worship, we will light three candles. We light a light in the name of the Maker, who lit the world and breathed the breath of life for us. We light a light in the name of the Son, who saved the world and stretched out his hands for us. We light a light in the name of the Spirit, who encompasses the world and blesses our souls with yearning. We will light three lights for the Trinity of love, God above us, God beside us, God beneath us, the beginning, the end, the everlasting one. As we continue to work through the challenge of COVID, we come together to give thanks that our community life is being rebuilt and life has returned to normal. However, many continue to grieve the loss of both friends and family members. Today is the day to acknowledge that grief and loss over the last three years. There will be a minute silence at 12 noon to create a moment that shows support for the millions of people who have been bereaved. Today provides us with an opportunity to connect with someone who is grieving. This might be in a simple ways, such as having a chat with them, sending a card, a message, or giving them some spring flowers. Whatever your background, whatever your beliefs, and whatever you've been through these last three years, please join us as we reflect. At funerals, many people take comfort from Psalm 23. Let us listen to the words. The Lord is my shepherd, therefore I can lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures and leads me beside still waters. He shall refresh my soul and guide me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You spread a table before me, in the presence of those who trouble me. You have anointed my head with oil, and my cup shall be full. Surely, goodness and loving mercy shall follow me through all these days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. This beautiful psalm is read at many funerals. It talks about the Good Shepherd, and Christians believe that Jesus is the Good Shepherd, who tends and cares for his people, the sheep. 
At this time of year, the Christian Church commemorates the last week of the life of Jesus. We remember the death of Jesus on the cross on Good Friday. After his death, the friends of Jesus faced times of darkness. However, three days later on Sunday morning, that despair and darkness was transformed into the joy of the resurrection. A group of women visited the grave and found the tomb empty. Let us listen to the Easter story of hope read by children's author Frank Cottrell Boyce. On the first day of the week, very early in the morning, the women took the spices they prepared and went to the tomb. They found the stone rolled away. When they entered, they did not find the body of Lord Jesus. And they were wondering about this. Suddenly two men in clothes that gleamed like lightning stood beside them. In their fright, the women bowed down with their faces to the ground. But the men said to them, why do you look for the living among the dead? He's not here, he's risen. Remember how he told you while he was still with you in Galilee, the son of man must be delivered over to the hands of sinners, be crucified, and on the third day will be raised again. Then they remembered his words. Let us in a moment of silence, pause and reflect. Loving God, you hold all our times in your hands, our past, our present, our future. Be close to us now as we remember those we loved and knew, but see no longer, whether family, friend, colleague or neighbour. Help us to trust that they are at peace with you and comfort us with your presence. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us think about how we connect to our communities. Loving God, you place us in families and communities and we give you thanks for all those around us who serve us and help us in so many ways. Give wisdom to community leaders, to our schools, hospitals, care homes and other agencies who make a difference to our lives. Help each of us to have the courage to reach out with thanks and kindness to those around us and to speak words of faith as we share the good news of your love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. As we light our candle of hope, we think about the Easter message. Love and God, as we journey towards Easter, help us to live as people of hope, knowing that beyond the pain of the cross lies the joy of resurrection. Inspire us in our worship, through our schools, churches and in our homes that we may bring glory to you and joy to others. Be with those who are struggling in mind, body or spirit and give courage to those who are facing uncertainty and change ahead. Help each of us to keep our eyes fixed on you that we may reflect your light to all whom we meet. Amen.